how to have more fun playing your character. Hello, wonderful RPG lovers, AKA my favorite people. Welcome to how to be a better RPG player on Saving Throw Show. I'm Amy Vorpal, and today we're looking at six ways to keep your character fun to play and super fun to play with. So let's get into it. Keep it simple. That's sort of the overarching theme for this entire set of tips. Remember, the party's an orchestra and your character gets a solo only a few times that last only one to two minutes. Most of the time you'll be sharing the group stage, so it's best to have a good simple idea of one, how you will interact with other characters, and two, what your character's spotlight time will look like. How much time do you have? Assess the length of the session and the length of the whole campaign. Boil down your character mysteries and reveals to one big moment for one session. You don't have to play out your entire backstory and you definitely don't need more than one reveal per session. Maybe not even more than one reveal per campaign. Also, communicate that with the GM so she can help make it momentous. If you've got more sessions than one, be open to leaving the reveal for a later session that could have even more impact. Oh, P.S. Think of a character character mystery and a cool way to reveal it. The game! All right, this one is my favorite one because it's a sketch and improv term that basically means the repeatable, repeated, fun thing in the scene. In D&D, for playability, it should be active and not internal, and something your character can do wherever they go, no matter the terrain, lands, or races they might encounter. Actually, some flaws make great character games. Having something simple like this makes it possible for people to recognize your character from the rest of the group. Like if your character's dialogue were written down instead of actually spoken, a reader would still be able to point to exactly which character it belonged to. Other examples for D&D might be like a silverware collector, a self-promoter, writing a dictionary on all the different meanings of life. One big stipulation, it shouldn't derail the main storyline and it should be playable very quickly. Like. I tried to steal the silverware. Or even like when your character sits down at a pub with play settings, a, a simple, my eyes light up and I lick the fork to determine the exact metal alloy it's made of. All of those can be a fun moment for the game. Throwing away babies. Okay, not literally throwing away babies, folks. I am not a monster today. I just mean if you come up with the perfect character game, a moment of revelation, or any other thing you want to do, be open to chucking it out in favor of something better. It's RPGs! Inside jokes and moments are going to present themselves and the cool stuff you find with your friends will be more fun and will outlast the stuff you come up with alone. So have your babies, think about your babies, just be down to toss some babies out the window when you find better babies. Also, that's just good parenting advice. One is enough. Just to reiterate the keep it simple message, one is enough. One mystery, one complication, one character game. You really do have precious few minutes to be your character in the game, so having too many things I want to play can be overwhelming to you, but also to everyone else. Others will develop, I promise. Performance. As far as character voices or personalities go, it's definitely not required. I would say to go for it only if you find it fun. Maybe even if you just want to try it out. The best way to see what you like and what's sustainable for those who gravitate toward gravelly voices is to talk to yourself in your voice alone first, maybe even to a mirror. To generate ideas, try imitating celebrities or voices from animation, anything recognizable that you can pull from. There's no pressure because even if the imitation isn't dead on, all that means is you've made a brand new character voice. Same goes for accents. If it's not accurate, it's simply a new dialogue for the world. And now it's time for a player shout out. I'd like to highlight a player who always plays extremely compelling characters with expert simplicity, so check out Havana Mahoney on the show Iron Keep Chronicles. You can find her streaming on twitch.tv slash Havana. Thanks again for watching! I'd love to know what you think. What are other ways you can play and have more fun playing your character? Tell us in the comments below, and as always, feel free to ask questions. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications when we drop new videos. I'll see you next time, which is never as soon as I'd like it to be. Bye!